Hey guys, welcome back to Burmese's Math Club. Today's topic is dividing a decimal by a decimal. Now in our previous video we talked about dividing by whole numbers, a whole number by a whole number, and that was a very easy topic. This is pretty much the same thing except for we're going to be having to deal with decimals, so stay with me. Now let's say we have a problem. Let's start out with an easy problem, like maybe we have 2.5 divided by 0.5. I know it can get a little confusing with the decimal points. They're like, okay, what am I supposed to do with the decimal point? Does it make any difference to my quotient? And everything like that just makes it a little confusing with the decimal point. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the decimal point in a way that we still get our quotient and it's right. So our goal here is to make the divisor, which is 0.5, a whole number. How are we going to do that? By moving the decimal point. Now, if we move the decimal point one place from left to right, it will become a 5, right? So that's a whole number. But we have to do the exact same thing we did to the divisor to the dividend. So we have to move it one place from left to right in the dividend. So that would become a 25. So now our new problem is 25 divided by 5. And we all know that 5 times 5 equals 25. Therefore, our quotient for 25 divided by 5 equals 5. Now that was very easy, right? How about we have problems such as 2.46 divided by 0.3. All right, now we have to make this into a whole number, right? So if you move it one place from left to right, it becomes 3. I'll do the same thing for here. Now, if we move it one place from left to right, it becomes a 24.6. That will still remain a decimal number. Remember, we're not making the dividend into a whole number. We're just making it so that it um, has been through the same thing as the divisor. So if we move that from one place left to right, you'll do the same thing to a dividend. So that's still a decimal. So if we write this out over here, 24.6 divided by 3, that's our new problem. Now, don't get confused with that decimal point there because it's really like simple division, but you just have to handle decimal points. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. So as you were doing um, a, like a normal division problem, look at the first number, uh, the first digit, which is 2. You cannot divide 2 divided by 3, right? So what you're going to do is combine the next digit, so that becomes a 24. How many times is 3 going to 24? 8 times, right? So 8, and then we do the subtraction, so we get 0. Now we have our decimal point. We do not bring the decimal point down like we would normally do. We usually bring the numbers down, right? Instead, the decimal point is going to go straight up over here. So now it becomes 8 point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring down the 6. How many times does 3 go into 6? 2 times. So 3 times 2 equals 6. And we got a 0 as our remainder. So that means we don't really have a remainder. The quotient of 2.46 divided by 0.3, which was our original problem, equals 8.2. So hopefully you guys understood this topic. Now, if you want to find more practice problems, then obviously you can go to our website and you can find this topic and do some practice problems. And practice makes perfect, right? And um, stick around for more videos. And we're going to be having a summary coming up on this topic. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.